do I need a reader for my self tape auditions, a real life reader? And does that reader need to be an actor? By the way, my name is Belgica and I make acting related videos all of the time. And right now I'm doing Vlogmas. So uh, yeah, I'm posting every single day. And if you have been watching my videos and you're not subscribed, I would really appreciate if you would consider subscribing and leave me a comment and tell me you're here. But yes, I believe that you should definitely have a reader for your self tape auditions because it's going to make it that much better. Really, if you pre-record the other lines, you are not going to allow yourself to do it different ways and do it however you happen to naturally do at that time and be able to play with it. If you pre-record your own lines, it's going to be very confusing to the person watching it and it's, it's going to sound strange and then you are not going to be able to perform as well. I truly believe that if you have a reader, it's going to be so much better. When you have a reader, you are able to interact with another human and that is exactly what you do in scenes so whenever you get a scene a self-tape audition scene let's say there's other five other characters usually for auditions there's maybe one or two other characters in that scene that you need to do a self-tape for that one reader can definitely read all of the lines for you it's absolutely fine if it's male or female it doesn't matter and they should be positioned either directly to the left of the camera or directly to the right of the camera of unless other ways stated by the person that's asking you to film the, the self tape usually for commercials you do look straight into the camera but if you're doing a scene for basically anything else they should be right off camera and that person should be positioned slightly further away than you from the microphone because or microphone or camera because you don't want them to be louder you will have to fix that yourself in when you're editing it before you send it out but you definitely don't want to send out an audition where the reader is really loud and then you're a lot softer your reader can be there in person you can have them on zoom i've been doing that a lot um but i would not suggest you pre-record it does that reader need to be an actor absolutely not in my opinion your reader should either make your audition better or make it stay the same so examples of how they can make it worse is if they're giving you unwanted feedback in that case you need to be able to communicate with that person and say hey i appreciate it but um please no feedback don't just just say the lines so for example for me if i ever had my mom help me with the self tape audition we are essentially the same person and we fight all of the time because of it so i know she would try and help or she would make a joke or she would say something and i would just get angry and be like oh my god please just read the lines and you don't want to get frustrated when you are trying to film a self tape you want to be in a good place where you can read the text and be as truthful as you can be and deliver a great audition and also not bringing too much attention to them for me when i'm a reader i try to give the other person as much uh energy and as much uh, of that text as I can without bringing too much attention to me because of course they're the ones that are auditioning I am simply assisting them yes this takes a little bit of preparation but you guys it is so worth it to be able to have a go-to person um or a go-to app uh, in order to film your self tape auditions let me know if you have any other questions regarding readers on self tape auditions or just anything else in general at the end of every video i do feature another channel this is today's feature if you would like to be featured on my next video make sure you're subscribed like this video and leave me a comment mm -hmm.